Hi Product Hunt, I'm super excited to show you GPT Pilot VS Code extension. This is the first time where you have actually a real AI developer within VS Code. It can uh, take your specification, it can write code, it can debug it, it can interact with you, it can ask you questions. So how it works is that you basically uh, describe what kind of an application you want to you want to build. Then it asks you a couple of clarifying questions, writes out technologies that uh, needs to be used for this project. And then it writes the entire development plan of how this application should be developed. So it can either uh, run a command, every time it will ask you, hey, can I run this command, like here, for example, in npm init. It can write code, and every time it writes something, it will open up this um, file so you can see what is being written. Once it runs the command, if it detects an error, like for example here, it will ask you, hey, can I debug this issue? If you click yes, it will just take this error, analyze the code, try to fix it, and try to run the, the command again. Whenever it needs help, like if it needs some API key, or for example, in this case, it wants to download the latest CSS uh, and JS for Bootstrap, it will ask you, the developer, hey, can you help me out with this? And whenever it finishes a task, it asks you, the developer, for a review, just like you would ask your team lead. And in this case, you actually have a button to just start the application and to, to test it out. You can just click Start App and go into the browser, test your application, either click continue if, if the task is done, it will continue on to the next task, or you can write up if something is not working correctly and it will take your input and try to debug this issue. All right, let's see the final result. So it's a fully developed application. It has 22 uh, files. It has around 1,000 lines of code and these 1,000 lines are mostly logic, so it's, it's pretty good. It has features like login, a registration, it has a password, email verification, password reset. And keep in mind that all of this is actually created from scratch. So it doesn't use any high level framework with just, that just does all this automatically. And on the front end, we have the ability to compare two different uh, GitHub repositories. And keep in mind, we also deploy this on that examples uh, subdomain so you can test it out yourself. And here I'm going to compare two repositories that we have created inside our team. And you'll see that it's pretty fast. There you go. Uh, these are two repositories, basically like start history, since creation, change in stars. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you like it. Let us know if you have any comments, suggestions. Uh, if you tried it out, let us know how it went. We'd be super happy to hear from you. That's it. Hope you have a great one and bye-bye.